Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Pokemon Cafe Mix. In the last episode, we expanded more of our cafe, we got more recipes, we unlocked more levels for Pokemon, and I also got this 15 minute, ex you know, what's it called, infinite timer for the uh, level, so I might wanna get started on that for today's episode. I think for right now, it's gonna take a while, but I should probably just get this next recipe for Snubble, get Snubble level five. Might take some time, but it'll be well worth it. Or at the least, I should try to get everybody I can in level three for right now, because that's where at least the core benefits show up. I see a lot of Lucario. The only unfortunate thing is, is that I guess I shouldn't have gone for him just yet because of the sugar cubes in the way. But we can try that. All the steamy as well. That breaks through that wall. Okay. I don't think I should have matched Lucario there. Sort of a bit of a mistake. But I can try doing this. Okay, that's good. That's the rest of the sugar cubes at the least. So we need to link 28 of them. I don't exactly know which one that'll be, but I'm pretty sure it's Lucario. I'll link together the Steenie just so we can clear it out for hopefully a couple more. Actually, no, that was 28 of them. We're fine. <laughs> Made it overcomplicated. Watch our three star challenge. 25,000 points, six sugar cubes. So really the first thing I wanna do, get rid of that. Get rid of this one. Snubble, shake some pepper on it. And then just the points, which should be fine. Just link all the Lucari together. And we're golden. Yep, as easy as that. That's level two for Snubble. So we're gonna do that one more time just to get Snubble to level three, and I think we'll do that for the other Pokemon that are available here. That's probably a good start. 45,000 is the score requirement, 10 sugar cubes and eight whipped cream. Oh, the Bweasel's all over the place. I like it. I think there's actually more Bweasel than anything else, so I might work on that first. And that's not too bad progress. Now I see Lucario. Hmm. Okay, trying to look into exactly how I want to do this one, but I think for right now, we'll do that. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk about it, and I guess now's a good time as we're working on all this. Uh, it's been really cool getting back in the Pokemon Cafe Remix, and it's just been fun in general because there's been a lot of cool Pokemon stuff going on this year. You might know that we've been playing a lot of, uh, I probably didn't need to do this, but we're doing it. Uh, we've been playing a lot of Pokemon Unite, which released earlier this year, which is basically a competitive online Pokemon game. That's been tons of fun. And of course, there's a brand new Pokemon remake coming out in just a couple of weeks. Uh, Brilliant Diamond, or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, one of those two. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting it mixed up, but I'm really excited for both of those. We're gonna be playing through one of them to start things off. Maybe we'll play through both of them eventually. And I still have to get to some older DLC for Sword and Shield. That's still on my to-do list, so there's still lots to do Pokemon related. And of course, next year we have new Pokemon games. We have, uh, I forget what it's called at the moment, but there's a brand new Pokemon game. I think it's uh, Pokemon Arceus. And basically, it's a totally new Breath of the Wild style Pokemon game that looks really, really cool and fun. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Okay, we'll get rid of these. And the other one, we can just use that megaphone with. Just like that. There we go. See, it's a, it's a very Pokemon filled year. I'm having a blast with it. And of course, new Pokemon Snap came out earlier this year as well, which I'm almost completed with. I need to record a couple more episodes on that and then it'll be done. But there's level three with Snubble. Then unlocks Whip Cream. And uh, we're gonna back out for now. And I think we'll just do the same thing for some of the other ones until I run out of time here, because we still have, oh no, wrong thing. We still have nine minutes. So we'll definitely make the most of that. Well, let's get the level three of Starly. I think overall this is smarter than just getting one Pokemon on the level five, because this makes overall my entire roster of Pokemon just that much better. Okay, this one's looking like Snorlax is the best bet. Trying to not shake the cluster too much. We can keep everything together. Now that is a ton of Jigglypuff. This one's interesting because it's in this sort of flower shape. Okay. 
Almost, almost. There we go. I think about their, oh, I sort of missed the one. But they sure t should turn some of these. Oh yeah, the megaphones. I forgot it did that. Wow. Okay, easy enough. Put this there. So for this challenge, I need to match up a lot of Starly, but to do that, I need to make more room for Starly. So I'll do that for now. Oh, I didn't mean to get more Snorlax. Yikes. A bit of a big mistake there. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned here. This is not gonna be enough. But once again, if it's not, it's not too big of a deal. Because this was a free challenge, I guess. And that's all of our turns. So two stars, not too bad. Enough to get Starly level three already, so we can just move on to the next thing. And we got some sugar cubes as uh, Starly's new gimmick. Very good. Still seven and a half minutes left, so now it's time for Squirtle. Looking good. So 50,000 points, six sugar cubes, and eight whipped cream. So I'll start with the Squirtles over here, I guess. Because currently Squirtle does not have a specialty gimmick. Sort of a shame, but that's what we're working on fixing. Go, there's definitely more Pokemon up here right now, I think. I'm breaking that will make it much easier. I'm seeing an okay amount of Rowlet, so I can work with that a little bit. Now with all the Squirtle, hopefully we can make a second power up. Perfect. Interesting, so this one is sort of in a shorter cone. That was pretty cool. Cleaned all the dishes in one spout. Let's do this. Perfect. And maybe this wasn't the best move. Yeah, unfortunately that's not really what I wanted. Okay, it's fine. We could put this there. We have six turns left for the rest of this. 25,000 points, five whipped cream. Okay, this actually, if we could just get one or two good power ups set up in here, we'll be fine. Let's see how that'll do. It's not all of it, but most of it. So now if we can get one more. Which, there's enough route that it's a potential, but I wasn't able to match them up soon enough. Okay. There we go. Okay, second to last turn here, if I could just... There we go. That should be everything. Okay, that one was calling it a bit close. Okay, one more time and we're level three with Squirtle. We still have plenty of time, we still have five minutes left. Okay, and this one's even more challenging. They're asking for a lot here. I think Dragonite, it's always hard to tell. Am I noticing that one more because there's more of them or because the colors are easier to spot? Something bright orange like the Dragonite is really easy to pick out in a crowd like that. There's one power, but we definitely want to save that until we have a bunch. You see a good amount of Togepi, but we're probably good to try this big green guy that I forget the name of right now. But what has been cool about this game and its updates is that I honestly do feel like the game is better balanced now. They do make it so that all of your Pokemon are getting used a little bit more often. I felt like the more special Pokemon, once you unlock them, they didn't really have much more of a use. It's like, hooray, you unlock them. That's it. You just never really got the chance to use them often enough to improve them. Because they just were never the recommended recipe or Pokemon for the recipe because they didn't want to make a recommended Pokemon something that was like not available for every player. I think they sort of made it in a weird way, but it seems like they've really fixed that in the Remix version now. Okay, well there is one bonus star. Definitely gotta earn some power-ups here. And that should be the sugar cubes gone. So it's just the three nuts we have to worry about. 
I am a little concerned though because, uh... oh, right there, perfect. Being able to get good at sort of shoving things around with power-ups is such a good skill to have. I think we've just gained by playing the first game a lot, but I was concerned we're gonna run out of time there. But level three was Squirtle, awesome. And that's actually gonna be the vegetable box, which I haven't seen yet in this version. But I remember that being quite a difficult gimmick. So to have a Pokemon that that's their first special gimmick, that seems pretty good. So next up, I think we're gonna go for Munchlax. Getting level three with Munchlax. Okay. 45,000 points, 30 Munchlax, and nine Sugar Cubes. Okay, so Sugar Cubes are just about everywhere. We're just gonna try to hit as many of them as we can. Well, the music here is different. I don't know if we've heard this song yet. Cool. So what will this power up do for us? Not too much in terms of that, but I think it turns a lot of stuff into megaphones. There we go. I don't really like the megaphone one too much, simply because it can be a bit challenging to actually get anything extra out of it. In my experience, the megaphones sort of pop up in random spots, so there's not really too much planning you can do. Okay, a lot of snubble. There we go. So we just need to match seven more Munchlax. Right there. That was definitely more than seven. Hmm. We could try it here. We'll see how much of a difference it makes. But that's six out of the nine gone already. See, if we didn't get a single horn there that actually went downwards, which is all we needed. Come on, I know there's a way to get both of them at once, it's just one pixel. Okay, well, either way, we'll get all these pip ups together, break this down a little bit, and then boom, we're good. So in the last possible turn there, we're sort of close. Very good. And that's level two for Munchlax, so one more time, and we'll be good. This will probably be the last thing we have time for, for this uh, infinite uh, stamina. So it should work out quite well. Now this one looks like quite a bit different. Usually they look, if it's for the same Pokemon, they usually look the same. Okay. Already got a special. Might be just worth it just so that we can start working on the whipped cream sooner. Okay, once again, the megaphones did not go the way I needed them to whatsoever. Now we can get all those in there. Still seeing a good amount of Jigglypuff, so we'll try that again. Okay, this time definitely Statland. We're getting there, we're getting there. Should probably do Munchlax after this one. Yeah, it's enough Munchlax that we can do that. Seven more whipped cream, and the maturity of it is right about there. Come on, megaphones, do your thing. Yes, it actually worked out that time. Awesome. But we have three turns to get rid of this, or get this last one finished. That's actually quite a challenge. Oh, I got the Jigglypuff up there. I thought I got Saland. Okay, let's work on Munchlax because that'll give me more points for a power up. That's a pretty good spot for it, but I don't know. Yeah, we're out of turns, I think. Oh, well, that was a tough one. I think that's one where we just really need the level three, which we have now, so we're fine. Staff leveled up. It's now our gimmick. I think that one felt like it was designed around us having the gimmick. But we also get our total staff level to 60, so we get another power up. And a new recipe's been unlocked. I didn't even see that we were that close to one. Very cool. So I guess we can check that out with our new uh, thing. Very cool, let's go for it. So between Mancino and Munchlax, we can create a brand new recipe that'll attract Meowth. Exciting. Okay, so there's honey. Yeah, I didn't, ch I, I should have chose. Well, I guess I don't get to do that for the recipe ones. Our specialty gimmicks unlocked. I think it'd be good to work on that as soon as possible because there's 
a lot of whipped cream. But I do see Pikachu around. The honey is worth getting rid of as well because the honey spreads over time, as you can see. Already a growing issue. That was good. That was really good. There is still more. What I can do is match up all these Pikachu and then get rid of that. Makes for plenty of more room. So now I have all these extra turns where all I'm gonna do is work on the whipped cream. Hmm. About there is not too bad. Okay, yeah, just one more right there. Should do the trick. Got it. Okay, and with that, we get a new recipe. It's been crazy how much progress we've been making through this game. I think we're getting through it a lot faster, at least the beginning of this, because we played the original Pokemon Cafe mix so much. But look at that, Meowth is gonna love it. Can't wait until we can attract some new Pokemon, because I know that there were, of course, new ones added to the game with Remix. And we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. But hey, it looks like with all that, we got a challenge done. There we go. So that is the first challenge card done. We'll get 500 acorns as a reward. And we can start working on this next one, join a team. I guess I've done that, so we can get that. Now we need to complete trainings. I wish we had that earlier. <laughs> Uh, combine cafe skill icons and turn them into a single powered up cafe skill icon. We've done that plenty of times, so that shouldn't be difficult at all. Okay, so right now we'll work on getting to order 25, but then we can work on some of the other stuff. And it looks like we almost got some level ups here, but we also have things I just haven't uh, gotten yet, like this uh, reward and another mega fun reward right there. And then this one should be, what is this? 15 minutes of skill plus. Interesting. You can use the above item as many times as you like until the timer expires. Yep, we're pretty familiar. Ooh, let's definitely grab this while it's open. And we'll do snubble. But do we have anything that's good with tomatoes? I guess at some point, if we get snubble to level five. Okay, um, that's a bit challenging. We could try score bunny. You know, if it's not gonna make much of a difference here, yeah, we might as well. Score Bunny is so cute, and we haven't had the chance to play them in Remix. To clear tomatoes, drop them into the basket. Skills and megaphones can't clear them. So yeah, tomatoes can be a bit of a tough gimmick, but I guess that's where Snubble would be really useful. Okay, well for right now, let's just match this up. And as you can see, they should all just fall straight in. Well, maybe not all straight in, there we go. So I can let this go now. Just because, and that should be some progress with the one challenge. So what's our three star challenge? Oh my gosh, tomatoes everywhere. Um, but in theory, yeah, we just sort of shake this around just like that and we should win. That was actually, I guess because it was the introduction of tomatoes, it was one of the easiest levels yet. But typically tomatoes are a lot more difficult to work with because you sort of have to move them around in a funny way. Charizard is really pleased with that one. 165 more mint candy. And we're good for order 22. Yeah, let's just get more for Charizard. The sooner I can do that, the better. Okay, so we'll get this. Looks good. Playing as Rowlet, so gladly take it. Okay, 25,000 points, 13 sugar cubes, four tomatoes. So this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. But with that extra power up thing we just got, it does make this a lot easier because we can already just combine these. All the tomatoes will fall just perfectly into it. Oh, that is satisfying. <laughs> that is really satisfying. So what is our three star then? More of the same basically. So with something like this, we need to be careful not to jostle the tomatoes around. We want them exactly where they are, which can be a bit tricky. But if we combine all these, it's sort of the same deal as before. Get those two, put this here. They'll all fall right in there. Yep, tomatoes are no problem. Now all we have to worry about are these sugar cubes and we're done. Yes, there's some pretty easy levels so far. Why would you need tomatoes in this little ice drink? The world may never know. But <laughs> it looks like they don't consider the actual recipes or the items that go into the recipe as much anymore. I thought they did before. Anyways, that was good. 
a team function has been added. You can cooperate with cafes all over the world and challenge a fun event. Interesting. So we'll take a look, quick look at that then. You're no longer on the team. Okay, that's fine. I think it was a team I joined at random. Uh, choose a team you want to join from the list or create a new team by collecting or selecting create. If you join a team, information such as your profile name, profile Pokemon, and highest order reached will be visible to other players. And that's okay. So you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and make our own team. We're just gonna call this, of course. Uh, do keep it to 10, 10 characters less. Okay, that sounds good. We are, of course, gonna call it the Zebra Herd. Perfect. Um, you can choose phrases for your team introduction. Of course, everyone is welcome. Let's take it easy. And, uh... Hmm, there's a lot of options. I don't know which one's the best. Let's enjoy. I don't want to worry about it too much, and I definitely don't want you guys to worry about it too much. It does cost uh, eight coins to create, but that's fine. Member requirement. Okay, none of that. We're fine with this. Public team, no approvals. There you go. So that you can join as long as you're, you know, being nice to everyone, that's all that matters. In the team screen, you can request stamina from other team members. If you get a stamina request from another team member, tapping cheer on will send them stamina. Requests expire and there's a limit on how much stamina you can receive, so be careful. So I could request them, but there's clearly nobody here at the moment. I don't really do too much, but I'll try to log in often so that we can, of course, trade. Now, I don't know how to invite people if there is a code or maybe you just have to look up Zebra Herd. You can always try it for yourself and let me know. Uh, with that being said, that's level 13. Oh, nice. So we get ourselves some more of the tarts. And we get 500 acorns. Hmm. We also get level nine for Charizard. That's pretty good. It's gonna be more tarts. And oh, already halfway to level 10. Pretty exciting, because remember, level 12 and we unlocked Charizard already, so we're storming through it. How about the challenges? We need to combine two more of those, and then we're good. Okay, so we'll work on Squirtle here. And I guess we're doing this one. Looks good to me. Okay, Mancino, I think we got this one covered because our specialty is the, the dollops of whipped cream. So that's definitely gonna be a good start. Combine those two, put it there. And it's not all of them, but it is most of them. Not to get the one tomato in, then we can just shove the other one in there real quick. And then one more is chilling out right there. Excellent. So we're zooming through these levels like it's nothing. That's a lot of tomatoes out. So I think for right now, we're just gonna work on that a bit. Not quite our second power up. If I could just, oh no, I don't know if that was a good idea. Clear out as many of these as we can so the tomatoes can start falling. Because once we get the tomatoes in there, we're just about good. Okay, so yeah, we're just trying to, this is where it can get a little scary because the tomatoes can sometimes argue with you and just not want to go into the basket. But with that done, we just gotta get rid of the whipped cream. That's right here. Excellent. Okay, there's another level completed. Looks like Squirtle is enjoying that one. Adorable. So let's get two more missions done then. This time, Salon seems like a good candidate. And the mythical Pokemon Mew appears. Awesome. See, so yeah, we'll, we'll choose Mew for this one, of course. Why wouldn't we? Nice to see Mew show up. I'm hoping eventually we can unlock Mew. I don't really know how that'll work. Order number 24. But maybe Mew's too powerful to have that happen. Hmm. Let's go ahead and grab all of that. So far, so good. Remember, our goal is to get the Mew power up, which is definitely difficult to earn. But if we can do it, it's so worth it because it gets rid of everything. Oh, it's so close. So all these stall axes should make the difference. There we go. 
So ready for this? Boom, everything's gonna go. Except for that one, for some reason. That was weird. Um. Okay, well in the meantime, there is some view all over the place. One more, right there. I probably shouldn't have done that. Could have saved it. But that's okay. A three-star challenge now. Yeah, this is looking a bit challenging, but I guess one thing we could do right now is just get all the tomatoes gone. Perfect. Yeah, we're pretty far off from our next power-up, though, which is a concern. Wow, that got a lot of it, though. Never mind, maybe we could do this. But that one didn't do much, it's so weird. Oh, there is still one more tomato hanging out. Not anymore. Hmm. I don't know, this one's a bit concerning. I guess for right now, just work on getting rid of that one. Whipped cream, there's two left, and I see both of them, so I guess I could just do that right there, and that should be enough. Perfect. That was a close one, actually. If I messed that up, we would have had to just stay with two stars. But still, we got three. Stout one seems happy with that one. So we got some challenges done, right there. I'm going to do one more order and then we can do three more stamina orders to finish things off. 400% for Charizard again. Yes, let's keep working on that. Okay, so we do have this for Rowlet. Get the extra nuts and stuff. Okay. It shouldn't be too bad then, I don't think. For right now, it might be worth it just to clear out something that's not Rowlet so we can get more Rowlet in there. That's looking good. There we go. A good start to everything. Now combine these, oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted. Oh my, oh, I really messed it up. That was a huge blunder. It's okay. <laughs> that was, yeah, a little silly on my part. Sorry about that. We can still do this, it's just gonna earn up, earn through a lot of turns, or burn through a lot of turns, so maybe this would be better. So that's the thing, you can shove these guys around to your benefit, but also your disbenefit if you, if, you, if you don't do it just the right way. There we go. So we have four turns left over for the three stars. What are we gonna make happen here? I need to match up 20 rallets. I don't quite have 20 rallets just yet. Hmm. Okay, I can get five more. So I guess maybe shove those two down there. I don't have too much time trying to make the most of it. Oh my, this is not looking so good. But I could, oh, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. Ah, oh, darn, I shouldn't have done it that way. So only two stars, no three stars for us. That's okay. Sort of made some mistakes there, it happens. And we still get 110, so that's pretty good. Awesome. So, what I wanna look at now is back over here. We'll have to use stamina, but that's not the end of the world. Let's improve some Pokemon. I guess for now we'll just f focus on a stumble. Because is it that we have to gain levels or do we just have to complete three training? So it doesn't matter about gaining levels, it's just about completing the training. That should be quite doable. And you can see everything we've completed so far, which is cool. Okay, so first off, Snubble. Probably take us three trainings to get Snubble to level five at the minimum anyways. Might even take more trainings than that, so we'll see how this goes. What is Snubble's current specialty? The Whipped Cream. I don't know how much longer we have that power-up gimmick, but I'm trying to make the most of that as well. Oh yeah, I do sort of remember this from last time, okay because we can match all these up, and if we smush it down, they'll sort of break each other. Okay. So with this, I can do that at the least. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's something. And then get this. I wanna get it without getting the power up. I wanna save that. There we go, looks delicious. So what about our three star now? Hmm. I mean, it looks to be the same deal. 
Actually, this one might even be easier. Yeah, this one's really easy. Okay, weird level, but hey, an easy level is not something I'm gonna complain about, that's for sure. Okay, so there's one down, let's go for two more. See, we didn't even get snubbled to level four there. So it's gonna take some time. 50,000 points, two comps of 18 links, and nine whipped cream. It's actually quite a demanding one. I'm hoping that there's 18 stumble here. Yes, there is. Okay, thank goodness. And I got rid of three whipped cream. Now, same thing with Grookey. Not bad. Actually, that didn't count. Weird, or maybe it was three. I'm not quite sure. Okay, but that is so much Togepi. Definitely not a problem there. Okay, so I think I mostly wanna focus on Snubble for the rest of this. Yeah, they're sort of in weird spots, so it's hard to get them all. Oh darn, like it was almost there, but then it wasn't. It was really picky with us. Okay, um, there's gotta be a better way. I can do that. It's something. We have so many power-ups just hanging out. Oh wow, it actually gets rid of all that. Interesting. I can still do some work here. Just like that. Okay, <laughs> not exactly what I wanted, but we should be able to in this last turn. Oh my. Right there. Oh no, I missed the one whipped cream. I get one and then I miss the other. Yikes. Okay, so now I just need 5,000 points. And it looks like there's more Grookey than anything, so that should be earning me the 5,000. Yep, 22,000 points, so we're fine. Okay. And Snuffle leveled up to level four. Hoping I can go one more time. We got the Bulbasaur green for Snubble. snubble. That's pretty cool. One more time. Okay. So you have 50,000 points, six sugar cubes, and eight whipped cream. How do we want to start this? I think like normal. Start the one with the specialty gimmick. That was pretty good. Same deal if we could get that in there. Because it gets rid of three of them. Pretty productive. Oh, I couldn't quite fit that in there. It's not what I wanted. Okay. There you go. Uh, oh, that didn't reach it, yikes. Okay, maybe I'm making that overcomplicated because we could just match these guys together and that'll get rid of it. Okay, so let's see. Last challenge here. So I definitely want to combine these two Get rid of a bunch of stuff. That might be all of it. Oh, it is, nice. So we just need to make a big combination with all the Charmanders. So that's where it goes goes to show that saving up the uh, power-ups can be worth your while. And there we go. Excellent indeed. So we get lots of progress made in today's episode with all of our different sorts of challenges. I think that should be another uh, card done for this. It is, so that will be three more stamina points and 500 acorns. Moving over this way, choose a Pokemon for your profile we've already done, click stars, we're well on our way, and then serve offerings Eevee. So yeah, we'll definitely work on that kind of stuff in upcoming episodes, and I can only hope that eventually we can unlock Mew itself as a member of our crew, but I really am not sure. Either way, we got the level 10 with this, so that's 500 more acorns, so soon enough, Charizard will be all ours, that'll be exciting. And then over this way, level 14. So that is uh, a whistle times one and megaphone maker times two. So we're almost at level 15, which will be the halfway point for unlocking the Lucario costume. So there's exciting stuff happening all over the place and I'm happy about that. And if we keep on logging in every day, I don't know if I've mentioned it too much, we unlock an Eevee costume 
some point down the line over here. So that'll be awesome. Lots of cool things coming soon in the series, as well as everything else. Like I said, lots of cool Pokemon stuff coming in general. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Cafe Remix. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.